Good morning, America. I'm Charles Gibson. I'm Diane Sawyer, and it's Tuesday, September 11th, 2001. It is lunchtime in London, 5 a.m. in Los Angeles, and 8 a.m. here in New York, live from the CNN Financial News headquarters. It is beautiful outside, perfect September day with lots of sunshine. Oh, would you look at Washington, huh? I'm going outside today. Other than that, it's kind of quiet around the country. We like quiet. It's quiet. It's too quiet. Number two. Yeah. This, Justin, you are looking at a, obviously a very disturbing live shot there. That is the World Trade Center. La espera de, de mayores informaciones, saber qué fue lo que ocurrió, cómo fue que este... It took nearly four and a half years to build the World Trade Center South Tower. But at 9.59 a.m. on September 11, 2001, it only took 12 seconds for the 110-story building to fall. Just over 30 minutes after the South Tower collapsed, while firefighters were still inside evacuating people from the North Tower, the North Tower came crashing down. I heard a rumble. I thought there was some more jets coming in, and I looked up, and the North Tower was starting to collapse. Turned around, ran as far north as I could, and realized I wasn't going to outrun this building, dove under a rig. Wait until the uh, debris had cleared. Luckily enough, the rig survived the collapse. So what we're, we're going to learn is that the towers didn't burn up, nor did they slam to the ground, but turned into dust in midair. The towers didn't burn up, nor did they slam to the ground, but turned into dust in midair. Microwaves are ubiquitous. We use them every day to heat our food but their potential extends far beyond the kitchen. Microwaves are a form of electromagnetic radiation. They are part of the same spectrum as light and radio waves. These waves have unique properties that we can harness. We are already seeing this in various industries. Telecommunications relies on microwaves for data transmission. Medical imaging uses microwaves to peer inside the human body. Now a new frontier is emerging the use of high-powered microwaves for material manipulation. Imagine a world where we can demolish buildings, dismantle bridges, or even pulverize rocks, all with the invisible power of microwaves. This is not science fiction. It is a burgeoning field with the potential to revolutionize industries like construction and demolition. This essay will explore the exciting possibilities of microwave technology, delving into the science behind its destructive capabilities and the challenges that lie ahead. We will examine how military research is paving the way for civilian applications and speculate on a future where microwaves reshape our physical world. The military has long been at the forefront of microwave research, developing weapons that utilize the energy of these waves for non-lethal crowd control and even for disabling enemy electronics. The Active Denial System, or ADS, is a prime example. It emits a focused beam of high-powered microwaves that cause an intense burning sensation on the skin, deterring individuals without causing lasting harm. Then there's the Counter-Electronics High-Powered Microwave Advanced Missile Project, known as CHAMP. This technology utilizes a high-powered microwave pulse to disable electronic systems, effectively neutralizing enemy infrastructure and equipment. Another intriguing innovation is the Vigilant Eagle system, designed to protect aircraft from incoming missiles. It uses high-powered microwaves to disrupt the electronic guidance systems of these threats, effectively rendering them inert. These military applications offer a glimpse into the immense power of microwaves. They demonstrate the potential for manipulating electronic systems and even affecting human subjects, albeit in a non-lethal manner. 
The science behind these weapons is the same that could be harnessed for peaceful purposes. Imagine adapting these technologies to demolish buildings, break down large structures, or even facilitate mining operations. The possibilities are vast, and the research already conducted in the military domain provides a solid foundation. The potential applications of high-powered microwaves in construction and demolition are vast and exciting. Imagine using focused beams of microwave energy to weaken concrete, causing it to crumble without the need for heavy machinery or explosives. Steel structures could be similarly targeted, with microwaves heating the metal to the point of failure, allowing for controlled demolition. Research into the effects of microwaves on various materials is ongoing. Studies have shown that microwaves can induce thermal stress in materials, creating microfractures that weaken their structural integrity. This process is particularly effective on materials with high dielectric constants, such as water and certain ceramics. Furthermore, scientists are exploring the use of microwaves to enhance chemical reactions, potentially accelerating the breakdown of materials like concrete and rock. For example, researchers are experimenting with microwave-assisted alkali activation, a process that uses microwaves to accelerate the curing of concrete. This could lead to faster and more efficient construction methods. Similarly, studies are underway to investigate the use of microwaves for rock fragmentation, potentially revolutionizing mining and quarrying operations. The ability to precisely target and weaken materials using microwaves opens up a whole new world of possibilities in construction, demolition, and resource extraction. Despite the promise, several technical hurdles must be overcome before microwave technology can be widely adopted for material destruction. One of the primary challenges is the sheer power required to generate microwaves strong enough to break down materials like steel and concrete. Existing military applications like ADS and CHAMP require massive amounts of energy, often necessitating large generators or even dedicated power plants. Another challenge lies in focusing the microwave beam. To be effective, the beam must be precisely targeted at the desired location, avoiding unintended damage to surrounding structures or individuals. Achieving this level of precision requires sophisticated targeting systems and advanced beam-forming technologies. Safety is paramount when dealing with high-powered microwaves. Exposure to intense microwave radiation can be harmful to humans, causing burns, tissue damage, and even interference with pacemakers. Therefore, any practical application of this technology will require robust safety protocols and shielding mechanisms to protect both operators and the public. Extensive testing and development are necessary to ensure the safe and controlled use of high-powered microwaves in real-world scenarios, these challenges are significant, but not insurmountable. As technology advances and our understanding of microwave interaction with materials deepens, we can expect to see solutions emerge, paving the way for a future where microwaves play a pivotal role in shaping our physical world. The potential of high-powered microwaves to revolutionize construction and demolition is undeniable. Imagine a future where buildings can be deconstructed with surgical precision, bridges dismantled without explosives, and rocks pulverized without heavy machinery. The environmental benefits alone are significant, with reduced noise pollution, dust, and reliance on fossil fuels. This future hinges on overcoming the technical challenges outlined above. As we develop more efficient power sources, refine beam focusing technologies, and implement robust safety protocols, the practical applications of microwave technology will expand dramatically. Research into the effects of microwaves on materials is crucial. The more we understand how microwaves interact with various substances, the better we can tailor this technology for specific applications. The journey from military applications to civilian use is a testament to the adaptability of scientific innovation. What begins as a weapon can evolve into a tool for progress. The future of construction and demolition may well be shaped by the invisible power of microwaves, offering a cleaner, more efficient, and ultimately more sustainable way to interact with our physical world. The towers didn't burn up, nor did they slam to the ground, but turned into dust in midair. But turned into dust in midair. Nunca se ve bailando en la pista sola. Llega a montarla con sus amigas gastando en dólar. But turned into dust in midair.